Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Launched for the 2020 model year in 50 pieces, this is the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe Mocarin Limited Edition, dedicated to hammerhead shark conservation. It is unofficially part of the continuation of the Ocean Commitment series of watches, but whereas many of those watches featured extraneous graphics on the dial, this watch actually features less. It is a unique no-date dial bathyscaph. Uh, taking a look at the dimensions, it's the familiar ceramic case, so 43.6 millimeters in diameter. Two ways to measure the thickness here, it's 14 millimeters if you're just measuring the case. If you add the NATO strap, then it's 16.5 millimeters. It's 50 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, with a broad 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw this on my wrist as best I can. It's often difficult to hold down a NATO strap when it's not actually strapped to your wrist. As you can see, the NATO increases the apparent size of the watch, but make no mistake, you could wear this on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters in circumference. It's fairly thin for what it is, and when it's not on the NATO strap, it sits fairly low. It is all of ceramic and sapphire, which means given its size, it's still quite light. Uh, the watch wears nicely, handsomely, and is well balanced by the considerable amount of NATO strap that slings underneath it. Now taking a quick look at this NATO, you can see it is a very high grade piece. It is underslung like a true NATO strap, but it doesn't have a, a gooseneck locking system the way you conventionally get on a NATO strap. It actually has a conventional pin buckle, and impressively, Blancpain, like many Swatch Group companies using ceramic, able to make the pin buckle in ceramic so that the pin buckle, which is usually blackened steel or titanium on other ceramic watches from other brands, here it is also ceramic to avoid scratching. Now let's denude the watch of this NATO because I feel like you're not going to get the benefit of this case back, which is custom. So I'm going to pull the strap off, show you how easily that can be done. You can easily put it on a conventional strap if you wish. The wash comes on a spectacular boxed set with a pelican case and a lot of literature dedicated to the shark conservation cause. By the way, when this was new, $1,000 of each purchase would have been dedicated to shark conservation. So the watch is all of ceramic, and as you can see, it's the Bathyscaf case that debuted back at Basel World 2013, so a more historically inflected and pared down version of the 5015 model. You can see it's more historically driven with a big crown profile, no crown guards, a very narrow and sheer case band. It's minimally beveled and the lugs are squared off at their end. Everything's in satin finish and ceramic for scratch resistance and low glare. The bezel is also in ceramic. It has a green ceramic insert. You can hear the bezel, which has a pleasing, sharp, and accurate 120 click detent. Line it up with the combination syringe and baton minute hand. Now you have a zero to 60 minute count up timer. The dial is custom. It is described as tropical green and exclusive to the model. What intrigues me is, well, the color, but also the gradient. Like a Moser Fumé dial, it's bright at the center and dark at its edge with a pronounced radial sunburst graining. Applique indices, and as you can see, everything on the dial indices swells hands of high polish and high quality and there is no date, so it is a very nicely balanced dial. Screw down crown, 300 meter water resistance. You still get the hacking or stop seconds, so you can set this watch precisely to a reference time. Flip it all over, we have a unique movement. This is the caliber 1318. It's the no-date version of the 1315, and we get a blackened 18-karat gold mass with three different finishes. There's anglage on its edge. There's a raised track around it with satination. You can see there's that satinated border. And then we have a media-blasted interior as well as a satinated hammerhead shark. There's also a deeply grooved brushed pattern outboard, so you might say it is quadruply finished. As you can see, this is a hand-finished movement with mile-wide bevels that are absolutely gorgeous, rounded, and uh, highlight to the extent that you can appreciate them without even using a loop. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots, and rather than a uh, perhaps out-of-place Cote de Genève, which would have seemed too traditional on a movement this progressive, they use a wonderful spiral dressage or deep grooving uh, that's even across the bridges and perfectly aligned. You'll appreciate that there's engine turning on the base plate, and then we have satination on all of the wheels, and you could see that well as the ratchet wheel features a 
spiral solarization. Let me see if I can get that back in focus. There it is. Now it's a three mainspring barrel automatic winder with a 120 hour power reserve. 35 joules, it's adjusted in six positions, one more than the chronometer standard. It's free sprung for durability, features an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring, and it beats away at a contemporary 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is a true handmade high horology movement for a high horology dive watch. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.